Hey, how you doing, Pioneer League? We are here, week five. Uh, the words of wisdom for this week, so to speak, is uh, just about one thing. It's one word, commitment. Now, when the season starts, a lot of people make commitments. And I'm sure those commitments come with um, the best of intentions. But here's the thing about intentions. In week five, and week seven, and week eight, and in the playoffs, if you failed to follow through with your commitment from the preseason, it ends up causing damage. So, everybody looks out for their kids. That's admirable. But what's even more admirable is when you look out for everybody's children. Remember, just because you think that you are looking out for your own, the larger cost in terms of what you are going to do to other people's kids, if you don't take that into account, really, what did you really do? So, in the preseason, when parents and kids committed to playing a full schedule of games and playing with the football team that they signed up for, we at the Pioneer League believe that that commitment should be upheld. So, for those of you that are deciding, uh, you know what, it's, the weather's getting kind of colder, eh, you know, we're, we didn't win every single game or have everything go our way, and then you make the decision to not honor your commitment and come out and play every single game and show sportsmanship and play hard in every single game, that's not on anybody else. That is on you. So the Pioneer League or football and sports in general is a partnership amongst all the people that are that are intertwined in the thing. So when one person doesn't honor their commitment, it causes a chain reaction amongst the other people that are partners in this thing. And we don't want to have some of our partners who have held to their commitment ending up suffering damage as a result of people that have not. So make sure that you get out to the games. If you are a player, if you're a parent and you know your kid has a game, they must be at the game an hour before kickoff. That is safety precautions. That is to make sure that everybody has proper time to warm up, check in, do an ID check, and the whole bit. What we are seeing too much of is parents that are worried about this team or that team or that kid's really big or that kid's really big. We're an unlimited weight football team. All of our kids are of the same age. We have an ID check. The ID check requires a state identification. So make sure you hold your teams accountable that they're doing that state ID check and that everybody has their state IDs with them. But when people don't honor their commitment and get their kids to the playing field an hour before kickoff, what happens is you guys rush and then we don't get to go through the proper safeguards and checks for uh, everybody's safety. So if you're talking about how safe your kids are, but you're getting your kid to the game right at kickoff or sometimes 20, 30 minutes after kickoff, what does that say about your actual regard for the safety of your child? Because your child needs to warm up. Your child needs to properly stretch. Your child can't just get out of the car or off the train and go directly into a football game with full pads and, and tackling and such. So just keep that in mind when I get the phone calls and... Uh, a lot of parents, again, very, very much concerned, and I respect that. But at the same time, if you are about the safety of your kids, make sure that it's 100% across the board and not when it's convenient. This is uh, the address for this week. We have Jets homecoming. We have, uh, golly, Saturday we have Patterson Nifty Lions at their place. Uh, a lot of exciting action. Make sure you check the website, pioneer-league.com. Last year, uh, last week, I should say, we had just a few highlights. We're asking parents, we're asking teams, pre please submit your highlights, your video clips and pictures to help us out. Um, that's pretty much it for this week. Have a good one.